So I just wanted to do a quick follow up on my philodendron and how beautiful it is. It has unfurled one, two, three. There's another one coming up. Uh, I'll probably get rid of this one. Well, I think another one's about to come up. But here's one that you can't even see opening right here. And this plant, and there's another one coming up off of this one that hasn't pulled away yet. So this plant is so happy. Um, so, so happy. And again, look at that. This one's more closer, but they, it's just a very happy. And I'll start to rotate it so that it fills out but it is a very, very happy philodendron that's been outside its entire life. I think this winter I'll bring it in and I'll show you that process, but I just wanted to show you it a bit up close and how beautiful it is. And um, yeah, hold on. I'll show you a couple more things. So this is a Boston fern that I've had for a couple years that is coming back. Um, it went through a phase where it died back quite a bit, but with regular watering and sort of pulling in the sun off of it, it is coming in very full and green and lush. These are new transplants that are doing well. If you see here, they're still unfurling. all of them and you can see how sturdy and happy they are. This is a citronella I planted probably maybe five years ago. It comes back every year. This is a tester of um, one of our bougainvilleas to see if it would take root and start to grow again. And um, I'm not quite ready to throw in the towel of it. We'll see. And then I'll take you on the other side. So here, this is a Boston fern. I should probably come in and clean up these, but it's the same age as the one that I just showed you. And it, this one always did better. It never really died back. You can see where it has, but it never lost its fullness. Another Boston or another fern still unfurling. You can see it here. It's a little bit fuller. I think I had I put more in this. And then I had a citronella. I need to get another one to put in here. And they're good. The reason I have them is that they're good for mosquitoes. Um, and that's it on that. And then I'll show you one more thing out here that I, is one of my pride and joys. So this whiskey barrel is full so this is freaking charlie and it's done really well and you can see there's some new growth coming in here and here tradescanthia wandering jew i think there is a grasshopper that had been munching you can see it but it's still coming back in this here lantana right this here I planted probably five years ago and it comes back every year I have some creepy Charlie over here that is not doing its best See there, there's no roots, so I'm gonna get rid of that so that makes sense. And then here, yeah. So it just didn't root really well. So that's why you always want to check on your plants and see what's going on with them. And so 
here it had some spots much more than this and so I sort of I did my little treatment of Dawn and water spray and it started clearing up there this is all new growth so this is happy and likes being in here so that this is actually really tremendous um, improvement like really happy and I'll show you one more thing. Actually, I'm going to show you two more things. And then we have the ponytail palm, which is so happy here. The trunk is about this wide. It's down there, it's hard to see it. But this is all new growth. It is so happy here. I'm glad that I decided to move it and put it in the ground. And it's thriving. Just need to come in and clean up its base. And then the last thing I'll show you, these are my succulents. And they're in this little... Mm, let me bring you over here. You can see it a little better. So this holds six plants, and this is a string of bananas, a string of pearls, and down below, this one is a string of dolphins. I can't remember what these are. This is another one, like the one over there. It's doing well. It didn't have the problem that that one had, so no spots. And then I can't remember what this one is. I'll figure it out, but... These stay out here year round and they are coming back from sort of a being hit a little hard. Um, but they're succulents and with succulents, yeah, this is doing really, really well out here. And with succulents, they let you know when they need something because they're, this is all full of water. So when they're not full, they start to pucker and shrivel up. And they're not doing that because they're full of water. So they're very, very happy, happily hydrated, I would say. And my string of pearls definitely have gone through the ringer. But I can show you, they're coming back. They're 100% coming back. So this is what I mean by they start to pucker because they're not getting, some, you know, they don't have a lot of water. And so, like here, the root is right here. So I need to water it and put the root in. And it, it, it might come back. It may not come back. But there's only one way to find out. And so I'm going to do that now. So typically I would just dig out a hole. stick the root in and water it but it's it'll be fine it's you know coming back it's come back so let me do that now and then we'll just keep I have a very big Tratoscantia here very happy. So I'm going to water this and 
good drainage because the water just came completely out. And that's fine. Not a big deal. Um, to see it do that. But yeah, so now I can really, there we go. I can put a hole in there and then where is that one that I wanted to repot? just gonna literally clean this up of all this debris from other plants nearby. We'll see, you know, like I said, it may not come back, you just never know. Sometimes it's the simplest thing that you can do and they, they'll come back. But so here's the one that has a good group. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then make sure to And I'm gonna have to give it a drink of water again because the soil is pretty hard still. But yeah. Clean it up a little bit. And in this case, I'm not wearing gloves because of I need to use my hands a little bit more and sort of have a feel. So this is something that I also do is I like a full base with my plants inside and out. So I'll just wrap that like that. And this was really... So I'm going to bring this one in a succulent and so it will probably graft onto here the soil okay so i'm gonna give it another drink it's a really good drink Progress report on how well it's doing. 